Hey y'all, it's your girl Millie Chun and I am back, honey. And we just gonna get into these topics. First one, suspect has been identified after attempting to burn down Martin Luther King Jr.'s childhood home. Let's go. So late Thursday night, viral videos went crazy. Now the identity of the suspect has been revealed. According to Fox 5 Atlanta, early Friday, Atlanta police identified the suspect as 26-year-old Lanicia Chantrice Henderson. She was booked into Fulton County Jail and has been charged with arson in the second degree and interfering with government property. Federal charges could be possible as the home is, a, is federal property. And yes, she should be charged. So it was reported on the Atlanta station that a man claiming to be her father said that she was a veteran who was having a mental health episode at the time of the incident. And they had been attempting to find her for the past two days. She just ended up over there at Martin Luther King Jr.'s childhood home with a gas can, with somebody filming her, knowing that she may have a mental break and didn't try to stop her. Okay. So the King Center released a statement and said, fortunately, the attempt was unsuccessful thanks to the brave interventions of Good Samaritans, um, the quick response of the law enforcement, as well as the um, fire department, the National Park Services, and Mayor Andre Dickens for leading the efforts to ensure the safety of our cherished national landmark. She should be charged. And this is ridiculous, right? This is crazy. Why would she do something like that? What was the conversation or her mindset at that moment? We'll keep following this. So Adele is feeling a certain type of way, right? She doesn't really like people covering her songs. She feels like no one can sing my songs like me. They can't sing. Girl, we know we are not you, right? They're in the karaoke box, like rolling in the deep and hello. We all go to that. She said, I think I'm not the best singer in the world at all, but no one else can sing my songs like me because they didn't write them, right? But then if you go to the neighborhood talk and just go through, you have Aretha Franklin, Ariana Grande, some chick in the car singing the mess out of her song. Adele, you are a great singer and we love you, but baby, this is what it is. So Lil Meech is being a little vague, right, on whether he has a kid or not. He said, got one on the way right now. My girl is pregnant. Is Summer Walker still his girl? Because she about to have a basketball team over there. And are they still together, like, for real? After he didn't got caught on the ring, going to another girl's apartment, his cousin. Child, let's keep going. This right here just makes my heart hurt, right? So Iman is denying everything that Tiana has said about the mistreatment of her in her divorce filing, right? He requested that the cruel treatment that his ex-wife has listed in the divorce be changed. Um, this really is hurtful because it started out one way and it's definitely going to end another way. According to TMZ and the documents that they have obtained, um, he said that Tiana never proved that he made her feel as if she was endangered. To be specific, um, she called it cruel treatment as grounds for the couple's divorce. And it could be defined as willful infliction of pain, bodily or mental. Amon says that this is nonsense and grounds could be from their broken bond and he wants the cruel treatment grounds taken out. More so... Amon says, despite Tiana's claims, he never, he's never been irresponsible when it comes to the care of their two daughters. And I think he's been granted something where he sees the kids because here recently he hasn't seen those girls. This is going to get worse as it goes on. I really hate this. So Kerry Washington was asked on the red carpet, will there be a scandal movie? She said that is up to Shonda Rhimes, but she will be there if it happens. This needs to happen because I will be front and center. Scandal was the best show that we've ever had on television. And a movie to tie it all together to see how she and Fitz are doing. How is Melly doing? Oh my God, that would be so good. I'm here for it. Are you here for it? I'm here for it. I think this is kind of amazing. Amazon is partnering up with um, Student Universe and they're offering $25 flights home for the holidays because booking flights for Christmas at the last minute can be very expensive for families, right? Uh, down at the bottom, they have the dates and times when they can uh, book the flight and have their return flight. I think this is really amazing 
And then with Student Universe, I think that's awesome. What do y'all think about this? Ooh, child, let's get into the next two slides, right? First off, Vanessa Ryder from Basketball Wives. And this is from The King of Shades. So I don't know if it's him or this is something he took a screenshot from. But according to my sources who are very close to production on Basketball Wives, Vanessa's husband, Isaiah, did not like the things he saw on the show. The alleged allegations that were made about him. And child is saying allegedly he shut down her coming to the reunion. Why shut it down now? She has been on TV and talked about their whole relationship. She may as well come. But I got one more. Ooh, child, this is Miss Quad, honey, from Married to Medicine. Now, this is all alleged. This is from the King Shea, so I don't know. And you know they will go live. We will find out soon. But according to a source during the cast trip to Napa, Miss Quad was asked to leave. To leave by the ladies and production did not put her on the call sheet for the final remaining seven episodes of the season. What? I mean, like I said, it's alleged. I don't know. But this will be very interesting. Y'all, have y'all gotten to Lil Rosie right here at the Purple Tutu? Honey, she was asked by Oprah herself to come and grace the purple carpet for the premiere of Color Purple. It's so sweet. She reenacted the whole dinner table scene on Color Purple. We're just going to get into it. I'm going to show you her video at the end. Let's go. When I did it years ago, it took us three days to do that scene. Three days. And you nailed it. No, baby. You nailed it. Really? You nailed it all the characters. Here's what I wanted to, to make sure that you are coming as my guest to the premiere on the red carpet, you must walk the red carpet, which is going to be a purple carpet, with me. That's yes. Amazing. And number two, listen, we all, I see y'all already decked out in your purple. You got your purple. I got my purple sweats on. We got our purple. But I want to make sure you have everything you need. So I want to send you shopping to get all your purple stuff, to get your purple wardrobe, to get your purple gear, to get your purple things. She got her tickets with a note from Oprah. She got her purple high tops that goes with her tutu with her initial on it. This is so cute. I love when a dream comes true. And this is a beautiful dream for a beautiful little girl. I'm going to show you the video. It's your girl, Millie Chun. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. You're not getting one penny of my money. Not one thin dime. Did I ever ask you for anything? I Did I ever ask you for anything?